Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Sometimes one of the hardest things to do in college football is to stand your ground by keeping the ball on the ground. Over the last decade or so, we've seen an offensive explosion, much of it centered around the passing game. Sort of refreshing to see a team believe that it can win at the highest level by running the football in an old school kind of way. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Washington is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Ball from the six. Got the corner. The 50. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Pet ways of building to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at him. A pickup of four on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. He fights forward to about the 40. coaching staff has just been raving about this kid putting up some monster stats this season he's a great fit for their system I think that's the key right now that's one of the reasons why he's putting up numbers that are among the nation's elite big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 26-yard line. That pass play goes nowhere. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. They bring the quarterback down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Walker is back awaiting the punt. He's 
tackle at the 45. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Pass to the tight end, but he bottles the ball away. Nice defensive play that time. The key to this play defensively is the timing of the hit. Watch how he got in there right when the ball arrived and broke it up. That's a good play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. around to 40. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. It's away. Short punt. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. He's on the run. He takes off, and he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. the grab past the marker. They chose to throw the ball here on third and short and it proved effective as the little dump pass got them a new set of downs. Here they come. And they got him. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Down around the 49 yard line. That makes us four down, four down. Mike one, Mike one. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 35 yard line. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise, being able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Good outside run there. Second down and five. Ball on the 30. Still no score. Oh, 
Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. The Huskies had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. The 10, and it's caught, and he tackles him hard at the 7. Fires quickly, touchdown! Tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 82 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. They'll bring him down at the 31 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's at midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 47-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. They come out in a five-wide set. Pass is caught, and the defense lays him out. That makes it fourth and four. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Washington is up by a touchdown. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Joseph says he's intended to receive the play. Second, second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own seven. They'll spread the field with five wide. He gets hit out of bounds around the 20-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That good a play fake is a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. They come out on an empty backfield. He's pushed out of bounds around the 40-yard line. And he is drilled at the 
16. Washington is up seven. Fires it out. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's have a look at what's going on in Corvallis. And for Stanford, all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. And for Williams, he's having a terrific day. More than 250 yards through the air. Oregon State leads it 28-24. Getting late in the third quarter. And for Cal, they played Oregon State a week ago. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Ball takes it from the six. Tackle made at the 32. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Throws incomplete. Second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 32. Throws incomplete, knocked away. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Palmer awaits the snap. Livingston takes it at the 32, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The Huskies took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out their different plays and formations, and then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And he's level at the 48. out to about the 37-yard line. He steps up, and he's sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. No, he dropped it. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Caught out in the open. Tackle at the 22-yard line.
and he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball of the 22. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at the 16-yard line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Washington kicked this one off. Fielded at the nine. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick pass. Golden Bears taking their first time out of the half. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. From their own 36-yard line, second down. It's the ball hawking senior. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. I'm starting to get the sense that this guy's feeling the pressure that he has to make something happen. But what he has to realize is he's only making it worse. From their own 41 yard line, first down. Slings it out there incomplete. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Washington's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third and five coming up. Ball in their own 47. and he's got room here. And he's tackled at the 20. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. He gets it up, and he got it. And that'll do it for the first half. 20 to nothing. Husky. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe it's a disrespect. I mean, they dis they disrespected him. I mean, they, they definitely they came out here and said, you know what, you, you probably don't belong on the field with us. And kudos to the coaching staff because it's hard sometimes when you know that you're so much better than the opponent. It's hard to come out and build a three score lead at the half, and and they've done that, and they've done it in such a nice, tasteful, disrespectful way. Like get out of here, tastefully disrespectful. 
Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way if Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Fielded at the four. Tackle at the 26. Washington's a team on a mission right now, it appears. They have put up 20 points in a row. They're set to go for another round. made right around the 34. That makes it second and two. And they get nice yardage on that run. Run and he's brought down. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Got a man, watch out here. And they push him out around the 48 yard line. field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Deep ball, laying it out there. He's got it. Touchdown, Husky. Make it three passes for touchdowns. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 73-yard drive. It's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 27-0. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Washington's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 29. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. He 
gets rid of this one. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Call it a game of 14 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. He lets it go. That makes it second and 10. goes at the 43. First and 10. Ball on the 43. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First and 10. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here we go, here we go. Mike, ten. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And a quick throw brought down at the 11-yard line. First down. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. Quick strike, and he drops it. This is the 10th play of this drive. A nice run up the middle. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and six. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Hey, watch number five. Number five. Watch number five. Hey, check, check. And he throws it away. Kicks up, and he's got it. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to check in on Corvallis. You could almost sense during the week that this team was right to be upset. They showed up, not ready to play, and down they go. And for Levine, he went for more than 100 yards in this one. Oregon State gets the W by 11. In another game, on to Madison. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Badgers win, 26-23. And for Cal, they played Oregon State a week ago. Williams, ready to kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Huskies had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. 
from their own 43-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat. It's a snap of the ball. it to the 44. From the 44-yard line. First down. They give to the tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. That'll bring up second and 11. So at the end of three, the Huskies lead 27-3. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. to the tailback and he's level the 39 yard line so it's third down now and they're going to need about four throws it to the outside hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Little pass over the middle to the fullback. Tackle around the 15-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. We're at play number nine of this current drive. The 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They come out in a five-wide set. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. There's another. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what, I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision-making. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Texas State doing battle in San Mateo. And for SMU, they're playing great football right now. And for Edward... He barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. SMU in front, 7-6, early in the second quarter. All right, Reese, back to our game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the seven, he makes it to the 25-yard line. The Golden Bears have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't, don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. No on the tackle at the 33-yard line. 
That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Looks to the back and can't connect. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Up the middle for a nice game. Game seven on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. Just under three to go in regulation. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down at about the 49. Call it a gain of 11 yards. First down. Check number six. Check number six. Watch the pass. Winning. Winning five. Go, 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 go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of four. That makes it second and six. From the 45 yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 43 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. There's a strike complete, and he is drilled at the 37. Williams is the tackle at the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. You got to get the ball. Here we go. Three, four, five. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. That's a game 15 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Let's go! Blue 88! Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Just over a minute left. Got it. And he goes down quickly. California is going to use their first time out of the half here. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Over the middle to his tailback. Big play, and it's first and goal. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. And here's the 14th play of the drive. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for SMU, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. The Mustangs are on top, 13-6. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. And he's taken down at the 41. Washington's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable two lead. Times, two 
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 43-yard line. Nice run up the middle. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 34-10, Husky. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.